Hi, I'm going to abuse you domestically, like Chris Brown the rapper. Hello internet and welcome or welcome back to Heliophobia and ten and a half months into my YouTube career I am really excited to finally announce the launch of a video covering YouTuber sexual misconduct allegations because of course the internet really missed those and I'm missing the logic from when I designed this character on how it's meant to hold like massive objects like this and, and how, how they're meant to be animated this is a Pixar level quality right here you, you, you just cut to the video this is embarrassing Alex Elmsley is a 25 year old YouTube commentary creator who's mostly known online under the pseudonym I'm Alex which he has been making commentary videos under since 2016. He's had a very successful career mainly collaborating with YouTubers such as Will and e, James Marriott and Mimulus and has over 2 million subscribers on his main channel although most of his uploads now go to his second channel with his real name despite the innocent image Alex has tried to paint himself with as a content creator alongside his friends who have like defended him for like the stupidest reasons. Alex has been involved in a few controversies most notably with how he dealt with the slazzo allegations in june 2019 in which a former australian commentary video creator was essentially slandered as sexually abusive after slazzo posted a video essentially debunking most of the claims made by his ex-girlfriend in a video alex still doubled down uh, i want to make a, a statement because of the fact that obviously i came out and supported che when she posted her twit longer um i already knew that some of the screenshots that were used in che's twit longer were joke i, I don't think he's innocent at all uh che may not also be innocent and, and may have hid stuff and, and use jokes to try and maybe push a certain agenda but at the same time the stuff that Michael admitted to is stuff that makes me not want to be friends with somebody who is capable of doing those things. Until a month later where he actually gave an apology which wasn't helped too much by the fact that he was reportedly involved behind the scenes in making the exposed document on Slazo as well before it had come out without asking Slazo even though they were supposedly friends at the time as well. There was also like a less minor controversy but none of the allegations are as big as what we're going to be discussing today where I'm Alex himself is now actually being accused of abuse. Please know that these are all allegations I am not a legal expert and Alex also has a right to respond and when he does I will pay a video on his response on my channel because I am um, something something like I don't know Last night at the time of recording, which is basically the 15th of June 2024, Alex's ex-girlfriend posted an ex under the pseudonym Malice underscore Hez. Here's my statement on the situation I've been scared to speak out on. It's best it was made public how horrible this person with a platform is. I'd hate to see another woman go through this and please read the statement first before continuing. Attached is a Google Drive link with an 82 page statement on several serious allegations he's going to make against Simon Alex, which I'll read out in a minute, as well as seven other media files showing video evidence to support her claims. And yeah, I'll start my crappy reading now. And uh, no, I'm not using the annoying easel. Finally, has a valid reason to dislike them. I mean, because uh, I think the Slazo situation was enough of a reason to dislike them anyway. So the allegations begin with a trigger warning for sexual assault, depression, suicide, and regular assault. States that Alex tried to threaten her not to come out with everything, and how she's releasing this so she can move on with her life, regardless of how Alex responds to the allegations. I mean, clearly Keemstar did have the right idea a few years ago. Alex, this stupid. Justice, oh righteous Anyway, reportedly the relationship began on March the 17th, 2023, but slowly escalated to arguments over Discord, over allegedly little things, and the unreasonable expectation that because this individual worked from home, they'd be available to talk 24-7 and would just ignore her social life and her friends, which she actually ended up like sort of doing to just uh, end the pressure, I guess. Join, join. Go on it now. Join, 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 join. Child. Oh! Which I mean, uh, has this guy even worked? Oh, oh, okay, to be fair, he is a YouTuber, so he probably has. But I mean for 70% of work from home jobs. If you aren't pretending to move your mouse so your profile at least appears to be online like, every five seconds, you're probably getting the entire mob called on you. <laughs> she gives examples of some insults that Alex would use on her. I mean, mainly uh, swear words that I will not utter on the family friendly heliophobian channel. And Alex reportedly also blamed the ex-girlfriend for intentionally causing issues and arguments as an excuse for her to leave him. Thank I don't know how I ended up with someone like you. There's also claims that he told this girl who suffered from depression to do self-harm during the arguments which are uh, 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 not puggers and in the folder that she posted online publicly there are indeed some videos of Alex on discord making not so savoury comments. I'm gonna f bash your f head against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the f up you because this one genuinely this one this one you you f this royally and look even though this appears like a very serious abuse i just can't take the guy seriously when it looks like he's filming a youtube video on his setup whilst in the middle of threatening to kill people <laughs> 
there are also loads of accompanying images as well some of which i've already shown you were relevant and here are some others emotional level of a f***ing prick just say yes you dumb whore high thumbs up you're a thick man she responds you're a bad bf calling me a and insulting me every time you get slightly upset and uh -huh, my favorite message so far it, 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 just the end words <laughs> with with hands shaking the majority of this 82 page google document mainly consists of screenshots of messages of insults sent by alex either through imessage or discord and the link will be available in the description and on screen now via a qr code but i don't think i need to show every single one in order to get the general point across that this person is trying to show and look if, if you want a full reading of everything uh, just go wait for bob black to make his quote unquote audiobook where he just sits down for like 20 hours and makes infinite watch time revenue off you i forgot how retarded he is. Anyway, back to the point. As this person says, Alex will always say he doesn't want to be with this girl. Then say he wants to break up and pretends that never happened and then apologizes and then asks for forgiveness. This person also provides a context that they used to be depressed and while they still have depression actually. And thus this would strengthen the impact of the words used on her. And as for the question why she stayed, she said she was tricked into believing all the apologies and that he would ultimately stop insulting her at some point. And now this is where I insert my call for hate comments to be directed towards me instead. Personally, I need to more content for videos and secondly i need less of nerd emoji stuff and more of the leafy clone stuff to be fair calling gameplay commentary channels leafy clones isn't markedly original either but it is for my comment section so uh that's my bat signal around page 23 of the document there's more commentary where the individual says they suppress their emotions in relation to previous situations because she was told to get over it but when it actually matters when you should lay down like a good dog you don't do it you fight for some reason i don't know why you fight because you're losing because you end up admitting that you f***ed it all up anyway, so it's just f weird. And I know that you're going to end up admitting that you f***ed it all up. And he would also say that because he said sorry, this individual should shut up. She claims that these were one-sided narcissistic arguments. Um, I don't know, uh, your boyfriend's a f famous internet celebrity. In which he would tell her that her feelings meant nothing and are based on a toothpaste that comes out of the middle end of the human body part used by men to urinate. <laughs> Whilst he would also threaten to change this person's life forever if she didn't say sorry even if she wasn't in the wrong for certain situations. Reportedly saying quote, I can do anything I want alone without any of you. With the plural being in reference to the anger he was also feeling at uh, some of his friends for some reason. I f hate all of you. You guys are f like, like, I can't make any videos of Paul Breach. That he was dumping onto her. Even though at this point, it sounds like uh, he's gonna dump them all in like a bloody body wax. As a serial killer, but uh, that's besides the point. He would also boast about his expertise in making YouTube videos and saying that she should be effing grateful that he was offering to speak to her about it in case she wanted to start her own online career on YouTube or something. And he would bring it up to change the topic during arguments. <laughs> Which, I mean, if I had to be associated with a community that was doing stuff like this, I think that would make me like 500 times more depressed than I already was. Yet yeah, he's the one saying, uh, like, kill yourself. I just told you how to make six figures, so F off. It's annoying. I just love how freely he uses, like, the N word in all these text messages as well. And you fully well know, at least the current him would probably make like 10,000 tweets complaining if some other white guy used it. I personally believe because I wasn't calling somebody it, but I was talking about the word in context that. I, I, it was okay to say. It obviously wasn't. Frankly, I'm ashamed every time I see it get tweeted at me. Meanwhile... And the guy doesn't have an excuse that these clips are old either because the relationship between him and this girl Alice literally started last March, not in like 2017. He also called her a job just freak and a retard, forgetting the fact that the job was like half the reason why she couldn't speak to him like every waking moment of every day. And also discouraged her from using Twitch, which is very contradictory considering the fact that he was also trying to give all this advice. But I mean, anyone who doesn't follow the perfect advice for a YouTube career that I'm Alex provides based on his uh, pristine reputation. You should be making content. I'm trying to be like the be all and end all of like everything. Moving on to July 2023, they reportedly went to a holiday together in Italy and there was an argument regarding some girl on some video who had become hypersexualized after trauma, which I mean is uh, definitely true. Uh, I've seen it happen before, although uh, I'm, I'm not going to be here giving examples. <laughs> That's how you get cancelled at like 400 subs. After watching this video, she reportedly opened up about sexual assault that she's been through herself and Alex just says, uh, Oh, 
I, I don't want to know about that. And then just walks away and threatened to go back home on his own on the flight. I think it ruined the moment of a holiday and granting him no fun memories. And the person who wrote this doc says that as it was only their fair time abroad, they would have been very upset and scared. Yeah, if you're a foreign woman in like another country on your own and if you don't speak the language there as well, but that fully makes sense. He apparently skipped his ex's birthday to go and see Star Wars instead. <laughs> What bloody Star Wars? Like, Acolyte wasn't out. Did he literally skip his girlfriend's birthday to watch, like, one of those crappy Disney Plus series? <laughs> That's genuinely so pathetic. And he tried to justify it by, quote unquote, hanging out properly before the birthday came because he, he, he had to attend this Star Wars event. <laughs> Not even like another friend's birthday or something, bloody Star Wars. He, he had to get in before the, the Twitter spoilers. Later on, this person helped Alex move out of their house and automatically expected to move into the girlfriend's house. Which, I mean, if you weren't a prick, then it, that wouldn't be an outlandish assumption. But the person says because they kept being threatened and insulted, they were scared of the moving in happening. And there was a call after where she stood up for herself and yeah. You start going on about how you're scared to move. Just die in an effing hole. You sad little C word. Ooh, my feelings. I heard you the first 10 times. I hate you. You are nothing without me. I really don't see why these statements would make her scared with uh, you moving in. <laughs> she reports the situation to her mom and says on day four of living together on the 19th of October. Oh, I can't do the big brother voice. I'm very, very sad. Dear Thorn. He took it to the next level and started physically assaulting her by grabbing her hood and making her fall on the floor while she tried to get away. He shouts calling her crazy and tells her to leave the house after she's asked to leave him alone. Apparently this uh, poster also found him stalking his ex and keeping old nudes of her years after they broke up, which he discovered uh, after he became secretive with her phone. Well imagine my shock. And she says on the 28th of December 2023, that's the day she decided to no longer put up with her behaviour. He reports that she was making the table for her Alex his parents because he couldn't be bothered to do it and then he kept asking her if anything was wrong she says she was too mentally drained to say anything she asks for a bit of help such as uh, taking out the bins and stuff he says that he can't multitask and shouts and then she walks away and then when she leaves the kitchen she gets kicked and she just turns around and says nothing he says that since it was the second time he she was physically assaulted she texted her friend to pick her up and she started packing and he follows her around the house screaming defenses of his behavior and she recorded this and there's actually a video footage of this for definite which i'll uh, play now oh what i don't understand because i've got anything to be stuck up over but for some reason it's like is it good enough for you you get to wherever you want all day it's like and then you look like a miserable little all the time like your face is annoying to look at like when i come downstairs like i'm actually fed up of looking at you which is why i sleep downstairs because i don't want to have to come upstairs and, oh you're taking all the covers it's like Woman just like asked me to buy another one. I'd be like, you yeah, clean up after yourself. Nigga, neither do you. And she says that she's panicking, sweating from fear at this situation. She's been called the N-word and useless. And she later came to pick up her thing after Alex threatened to destroy it. Her setup, which was worth over £4,000. And the keyboard and the display were completely shattered. Up. He then began begging for a second chance, saying, I'm upset. I miss you. I want everything to be normal. I will do everything I can to get you back starting today. Probably including kidnapping at this point she said that as she had finally come to the realization of what was happening to her she of course wasn't going to come back to him i'm not sure why she didn't like block him at this point after she took her stuff back and stuff but yeah there's uh, loads of screenshots of apologies and him begging for forgiveness even on a new tiktok account he tells her to let it all go which i mean uh, very sensitive he even bought a gift on amazon trying to ask her to speak to him again which is a pathetic simp behavior although i wouldn't mind if all of you I went to heliophobian.com and it gave me money so I can buy my own so thank you so much there's a uh, photos of like screenshots of uh, letters that he wrote as apologies and she basically ends off saying that it was a toxic relationship and she could bring up like loads more but she didn't want to relive it and that she should have actually left him up saying well look I think this is more than enough she also references the fact that lots of people were speculating that Alex had abused her based on posts that she had retweeted in April I had actually heard of rumors of this from TikTok as well like a couple of weeks before all of this happened and it's Essentially, she confirms all of her and basically says she wanted to post this document to get ahead of Alex trying to put out like any defense that allows him to set the narrative before all this information came out. Also, even though that was the conclusion that was basically done, she also says that because of the legal process, she can't post like everything that's happening at the moment unless she has to. But there's like a bunch more insults and also threats to kill this person's cat, which as bad as that is, at least I guess we've moved on from uh, the Shane Dawson era of a uh, cat loving YouTube. 
papers. <laughs> One time, I laid my cat down on her back. You don't get arrested for the Whoa. I moved Whoa. her little chicken legs, like, you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just, like, hum... Well, we, we do need to make a middle ground and yeah that was basically it if you're wondering why most of our audio like turned out a bit weird the allegations had came out like 11 p.m last night uk time or so and that was essentially my live reaction to everything so it was a bit messy because i was literally gonna go to sleep but now since it's been a little while longer i'm actually prepared to record a proper conclusion now so uh, yeah as much as everyone justifiably hates i'm alex such as the reasons included in my introduction we still do have to note that alex also has his own side to the story regardless of how damning all this information is because there's certain stuff like where the girl admits to slapping him we don't really have like the full context on that apparently that was an argument in september and look technically the threats that he made about throwing bricks yes they're really extreme but there's like a five percent chance it was said as like some joke out of context overall based on the accompanying cold footage I, I really don't think there is any justifiable context i mean regardless some of the stuff in there like that video i showed after alex reportedly kicked this girl and then was getting that angry about covers and pillows if we hate each other that much and it became uh, that toxic why would you not just leave anyway as in alex if he really felt like that strongly about everything but as for the impact for alex's channels so far since last night he's lost 5,000 subscribers on his second channel alex elmsley because these are relatively fresh allegations was on his main channel because he has abbreviated sub counts and he's over 2 million subs there isn't like real changes reflected on his social blade as of right now the only real changes recorded so far am i just shocked at the fact that uh he he's actually not gay but uh, anyway that's for another story i'll obviously make a response video if alex makes a response or if he like nukes his channel but what you should do is uh, hit the subscribe button so hard that it gets nuked because a shocking 96 percent of you who watch my channel aren't subscribed you can also follow on my social media which is at heliophobia and has an underscore on twitter slash x and until next time adios epic gamers <laughs>